Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday night. It can only mean one thing. We're in the SmackDown arena. It is NSW SmackDown. You're in the presence of Dave Easton and the leader of the Disney Alliance, Mr. Joe Disney himself. Good evening, Joe. Hello, Dave Easton. I am Joe Disney. You are indeed. And we are here for another action pack. Like two SmackDowns left before the end of season one. And tonight's big event is the fatal four way for the European title. Sami Zayn, Chuck Taylor, Fandango, and Matt Rhodes will battle it out to face Connor Rhodes at WrestleMania. So there you and there should be many upsets tonight. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this? That's Sami Zayn. What the hell? Well, who's that trainer? Uh, he's one of the paramedics. Well, that, well, that looks like it's down to a triple threat already. Well, that's a good start to SmackDown. We've already lost Sami Zayn. All right, coming up next, Fatal 4 Weight. The winner of this gets into the hardcore match at WrestleMania, um, where Matt, Mark Russ is the champion and Big Boss Man is also in that. Ooh, so who sounds you, like a problem. Who we got for this one, Joe? Um, I have... Can you name the contenders again real quick? Uh, Fallen, Screwface, Roman Reigns and Ken Shamrock. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I have my selection. Let's see. Um, well, I picked Roman Reigns. Wow, big selection for Mr. Disney. But what about this guy, the Fallen? He's won the US title before, so he knows how to get the job done. He also lost it. He did. And here is the world's most dangerous man. He's been on a losing streak as of late. He has indeed. Are you just going to pick faults for everyone tonight? Except Roman Reigns. Well, that's true. Uh, Ken Shamrock, um, definitely the hardcore value is his, but he will have to do well tonight if he's going to get into that match at WrestleMania for that hardcore title. And our final contender is... Oh, there's two more. Oh, two? Yeah. Screwface and Roman Reigns. Oh, I, I thought Roman already came down. No, no. Oopsie. No, go on. It's alright. We'll get through it. And here is Screwface, uh, who also was a part of the Wyatt family on Raw, until he, Christian got rid of them. Christian, the saviour. Yeah, so what do you think of this guy, Joe? I think he won't get far in SmackDown. Well, there's big size. He has been a former hardcore champion as well. Very, very early on. He's actually the first hardcore champion. But, I mean, who can't be a hard can hardcore champion? I think I can become one, too. I would like to see you get in that ring. Maybe, well, maybe before? I can speak to Tim Jones, our GM, and next week you could be a part of this, the hardcore title match. The, well, the hardcore qualifying match. I'm going to book it. I'm going to see him after the show. You better see him. I can't wait for this. Another belt. This time I'll have to steal it. There you go. Roman Reigns, Joe Disney's pick. So there the you go. Trooper. True contender right here. Roman Reigns of the Shield. The Shield. Dean Ambrose will be in action a little bit later on. He's going to face uh, your man, Travis Soul. And Travis Soul will win that easily. So there you go. So let's see what happens here. Fatal four weight, guys. Rules are simple. Uh, first person to gain a pinfall or submission will advance to the Hardcore Championship match at WrestleMania. Um, and. It's false count anywhere, Joe, so they can go anywhere in the building. Anywhere? Anywhere. They can even get the pinfall at your feet. Ooh, they can smell my feet too. Oh dear, I can smell them. It's not very, it's not very nice. Oh, I thought it was your breath. Oopsie. No, okay. it's your cheesy yellow feet. Yellow? That's all I can say. It's um, Shamrock. Look at that! Oh, Roman Reigns showing his power through in Dave, we almost forgot. What? The app. We can't leave them out of this match. Oh, uh, well, I wasn't going to do it for this one, but we can, if you want. Of course, it's a fail for a week. More exciting. Yeah. Remember, guys, um, don't just tell us who you think is going to win this match. Uh, don't put any numbers. Just tell us who you think will win. So it's either Shamrock, Fallen, Screwface, or Roman Reigns. Just call him Roman, because he's like a Roman god. Oh, my God. Are we looking at a new member of the Disney Alliance right here? We can, once he leaves the shield. I don't think he leaves the shield. I think they're, more, they're a bit more. Uh, they'd get more done than the Disney Alliance. That's because the Disney Alliance needs more people in it before we can start harassing everyone else. Well, yeah, indeed. Look at this, Roman Reigns. Though, look at this power by just throwing 
fallen all over the place. Like he's, he's just a, a, well, the feather as Shamrock goes to work on Screwface on the other side of the ring. And the former Y family is getting destroyed right now. They are indeed. You would think they would team up, but uh, well, it's every man for themselves, as they would say. Which is always bet. Well, it's not. Which is not good at all. No, not at all. As Screwface getting his head pummeled in, well, Fallen works over Roman Reigns. Referee doing the best thing just to stay out of the way. Small package by the Fallen gets a one. Should be it. No. Nope. No, nope, just a one. Early days, don't think you're going to get someone on a small package just like that. As Unless you grip the underwear. That's true. Use some dirty tactics like the, the Disney Alliance would do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We play fair and square. Really? Is that what? Is that what you call square and fair? Name one incident. Well, name two. Name two. <laughs> I'm not going into it. As the screw face is using a, the chair on the, uh, the sorry the steel steps, as SmackDown continues. Dave Easton, Joe Disney, as SmackDown continues. This is the Mundo here with a very important message. All the wrestlers here in non-stop wrestling are professionally trained athletes. We urge our fans not to try this at home, school, or anywhere. Stay safe. Don't try this. Indeed, we urge all our fans not to do any backyard wrestling or anything that will put yourself in danger as all these athletes are professionally trained. And, and if you do try it, you will become as ugly as Dave right here. Uh, come on, Mr. Disney. Be nice. Be nice. I was nice, nice to your wife last night. You're going to get chucked off the show. There's already rumors you're going to get sacked. You whoa, need, whoa, whoa, I have you, heard none of these rumors. Yeah, well, I've heard that Megan's filed a complaint against her, so you better watch yourself, Mr. Disney. You better just play nice, that's all I'm saying. Stop with these immature jokes, or I'll, I'll hit that mouse suit right off you. Do it then, you won't meet me in the ring. Uh, look, let's con concentrate on this match, shall we? We've got a good hardcore match, as the shovel um, is out here, making an appearance. The shovel? It is. Look at that nice shot to Roman Reigns' Reigns his face. As oh, the shovel. Okay. And the chair just goes into the crowd. Hopefully no one got hit here. And look at this. Right in front of us. As the Y family here. As Screwface. Takes on the fall. DDT right through the um, announce table here. As there goes the laptop. Yeah, the laptop gone. Uh, uh, by the way, I just thought I'd tell you the Sunshine Kid was looking at that through Superstars. Not uh, I love a bit swing. You know what I mean. Um, let's continue on. As did, he, did he find the pictures? He did. He, he did find them. As, oh, inside the ring. Shamrock is locked on. The sleeper hole. That's the mission out here. Yeah, I don't think we can see it there. You can see it there. And I don't think Screwface and Fallen have noticed this. Well, Screwface the definitely deal. hasn't. The and will hurt you there man. you go. Roman Reigns has tapped out. And Ken Shamrock moves on to WrestleMania. Good job by Ken Shamrock finally winning a match. Well, there you go. Maybe he's going to leave season one as the hardcore champion. Only time will tell. Only time. What a big win for Ken Shamrock, the world's most dangerous man. Lives up to it tonight, winning this fatal four-way here on SmackDown. And that is a big, big win. He's finally gets his star in the pay-per-view again. He will be at WrestleMania. Will you be at WrestleMania? Make sure you do join us on November the 3rd. For free. For free, indeed. And there you go. There's our tag team champions. The Mundo and AJ Styles. They will be defending the tag belts later on against the Ascension after AJ Styles was defeated last week by Rick Victor. Yeah, it was a very close match, I have to say. It lasted about three minutes, Joe. He was hopeless. Well, maybe if Mundo did a little bit more assistance, it would have been even closer. Well, I agree with that. Uh, it's about time these months somebody shut that Mundo up, to be honest. You better stop. He'll destroy you. Well. He is part of the longest reigning tag team champion. Well, forget about him. Coming up next, though, Joe, it is your personal hair assistant, Travis Soul, and he's going to take on Shield member Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. I always say his name incorrectly. So what, so what is this then, Joe? What is this with you and Travis Soul? Do you want Ken to enlighten us? Well, you see how his hair is all luscious? Yes. Well, this fur was that cost him a worry. 
and needed some dry cleaning and something to make it more fluffy. So I went to Travis so he got me the best shampoo ever. It's called Head and Shoulders. I don't know if you heard of it or not. And it has done wonders for the suit. Well, that's and nice. it's also a Go Disney guy. Is he a part of the Disney line? This is what Oliver Bisping asked on uh, Superstars. He might as well be, but we have to, he has to sign the contract still, then he will be. Oh. Well, here's Dean Ambrose. Guys, uh, there's a lot of talk going about where has uh, Mean Jess Oakland been. We can reveal here on SmackDown tonight that Mean Jess Oakland is still stuck in an airport. There was rumours that Mundo was with him, but Mundo managed to get a visa and is with us here on SmackDown tonight. Do you know which country they're stuck in? Yes! It's the airport round the corner. <laughs> don't ask. Jess, I don't know how Jess hasn't got a visa. We are working on it. Guys, we're not like other wrestling organisations. We'll tell you where our wrestlers and commentators are. Jess is indeed stuck in an airport. There is rumours that he's talking to Tom Hanks, but that's another story. Tom Hanks? The actor? No, the guy that got stuck in the airport, apparently. Oh. Yeah. Forget I, it. I, 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 I don't get it either. I, I just have to... I just got that piece of paper in front of me. Anyway, this match is very interesting for a couple of reasons. It, uh, the first one is that it's Dean Ambrose uh, wrestling, and the second one is Travis Soul, who has been revealed as a Joe Disney guy. Not yet. And there are also rumours that the Shield may be breaking up. Well, yes, we have seen it over the last three weeks, Joe. Where Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins haven't got along at all. But Seth Rollins is here at ringside. Yeah, well, Roman Reigns has just been in a match, though, Joe. You've got to give him that. Yeah, I give Roman Reigns is a powerhouse. He has everything he wants. Yeah, didn't get the He's job done Roman this time, though, did he? To be honest. Well, he was distracted by the other man in the ring, in outside of the ring. Very true. Well, let's see what's going on as. Travis Soul, who we actually seen at uh, beat Joe Harry on Superstars uh, in a very impressive effort, has maybe just got the um, look at that big well, right Yeah, maybe just got Tim Jones's um, sort of eye and made him here on SmackDown. If he can beat da Dean Ambrose, uh, this will put Travis Soul in great um, momentum going into season two. It'll, uh, it'll put him in a higher ranks in the Joe Disney Alliance. Well, there you go. Well, it can't really be that high. It can't really get that low in the Joe Disney Alliance, to be honest. The lowest position is commentator, which you are currently holding. Yeah, but I'm not in the Joe Disney lines. Yeah, you're more like a water boy. <laughs> Don't talk about that water. Anyway, moving on. Travis <laughs> Soul here. Um, continuing with a nice headlock on Dean Ambrose. And then a nice uppercut. And Ambrose is struggling here, Joe, against uh, Travis Soul. Yeah, Travis Soul has been practicing more. With more. He's been tra He's been also training our um, competitor, Morgan Wolf. Ah, yes, good old Morgan. He's not done very well so far. There's rumours of um, he'll not be coming back to season two. Yeah, I've heard those rumours, and I have nothing to worry about. Oh, okay, SmackDown continues. It's Dave Easton, Joe Disney, the SmackDown rolls on. At non-stop wrestling, NXT comes your way Saturday nights, 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. Make sure you join the Mundo in Mean Jess Oakland, who will take you through the action on NXT. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, a SmackDown on a Thursday night. Dave Easton and Joe Disney with you. And Joe, during the break, Travis Soul has been very impressive. He's been impressive the whole match. He has indeed. It's maybe he's maybe that hooking up with you is the thing. And look at that. Dean Ambrose has tapped out. And the referee cannot, well, didn't see it thanks to Seth Rollins. Wow, Seth Rollins is going to be kicked out of the arena. Yeah, but that's done a good thing for Dean Ambrose. He was tapping. And the referee not seeing him. Look at this. Ten, one. Oh, this one. is very good. Look at this. Dean Ambrose now being able to turn the tide. The distraction. It's yeah, working. Drops him. Drops Travis Hall right on his head. This one could be over. But again, the referee distracted with Seth Rollins. Giving good time. job, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is not having a good time of it outside. Um, Travis. You can say, I'm just saying now he's playing fair. Yeah, but Travis, um, Travis Hall, a bit lucky there to get away with that. And Seth Rollins, I'm sure it, this is not going to help his relationship with Dean Ambrose one bit. The rumours might maybe be coming true now. Look at this. Oh, Dean Ambrose, nice spinning heel kick. Don't really see that much off Dean Ambrose, but Travis Soul coming back with kicks of his own. 
He's heating up. Well, he yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, look at that though. Dean Ambrose uh, making sure he's still up. But every time um, Travis Sewell lands, he lands on that soft, curly mop of his. And that really isn't going to do any damage. Well, the hair, the volume. Uh oh, we've seen this. This is what put away Joe Harry last night. There it is. He likes to call that the mop from above. The mop from above? I don't ask. Into the cover. No hook at the leg. Three for Travis Sewell. That is a massive win for Joe Disney's personal hairstylist. What a big win for Travis Sewell. You make it fun and he's going to come after you. It's not my fault that he's your personal hairstylist. Remember, we know where you park your car. All I can say is I'm calling this down the middle, unlike you, Mr. Disney. Someone has to be impartial here. Yeah, that's me, not you. Your well, points? A big win for Travis Soul. And as I say, I'm sure a lot of momentum for him going into season two. And now he has a crew. Uh, Your jokes are terrible. Moving on then. Oh. As, uh, is that... And there's Chuck... Oh, this is ridiculous. So Is Sammy, that the same trainer? No, it is. We've only got one trainer. You know that. Now we've had Sami Zayn now. Chuck Taylor. Now we're down to Fandango and Matt Rhodes. This is crazy. Anyway, coming up I, next... I think the trainer is doing it. Just saying. Well, I don't know. What, what's going on there? Adrian Phoenix, the icon, is going to take on Edgar of the NWO. I mean, Joe, what do you think of the icon? Well, he was living up to his name for a long time. Then he sort of just, like, disappeared. And he, wait till the lights come back on. He comes around. Watch. There he is. I'm waiting. All right. There you go. So Adrian Phoenix is going to take on Edgar of the NWO. Uh, Adrian Phoenix is a former European title. Hold that on. title actually means something. It does, it does, because Connor Rhodes holds it at the moment. So, but who was attacking? <laughs> Joe, who was attacking all these people backstage? It can't be me. It can't be Jess. I mean, oh, I mean Gene. Was it Jess or Gene? Gene. No, Jess. Jess? Definitely Jess. Me and Jess Oakland. Oh, okay. Because I know Gene is the middle name, that middle name. I'm pretty sure. He doesn't like to tell people that. Oopsie. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll thank you later. And here is Edgar Joe, who we've seen really transform in the, when he became an NWO member. Yeah, he became one of the most dominant superstars on our brand. Yep, yeah. uh, but last week they couldn't get the job done. Oh, sorry, they did get the job done against Wade Barrett last week, sorry. I was thinking of the week before when they lost the tag team title match. You but just had to bring that up. I know, but they, they did beat um, Wade Barrett on a, in a gauntlet match last week. Well, Wade Barrett was by himself. That's and he did have a good fight. The gauntlet match, Mr. Disney. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out the facts to uh, fans that don't know. Well, there you go. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready for this one. It is singles competition. Kevin Nash outside at ringside, the, o, the leader of the NWO. And Joe, you've got to think, will we ever see Wade Barrett again after last week? Well, not on this brand, uh, I think. Well... He did get a pretty. Um, he did give a good effort. He did actually beat um, Matt Walker, uh, only to lose to Edgar in the the second of the gauntlets. So Kevin Nash really didn't have to do anything last week. Yeah, but Matt Walker is the weakest member, so I might say in in the bureau. See, that's your mouth gets you in trouble every time. Mr. I said some might say I haven't said anything at all. See, I'm talking about the rumors I hear. How many more people do you want to do you want to get in trouble with? Well, who cares? Because I have the Lions with me. Yeah, but well, I can't see them anywhere here tonight. Because they're backstage, protect, making sure no one else comes down and ambushes me. So what about you? Must be happy though. Let's just change subject for a minute. Uh, still talking about the Disney Alliance. So about AJ Z, who's beaten Tyson Kidd last week. Yeah, it's a big victory for our, our young rookie. Indeed, he's in the semi-finals of the NXT tournament, which are the, the two semi-finals of this week. Um, and he, he's only two wins away from becoming NXT champion. He'll be the best one after Barrels has left. Yeah, no, no NXT. Be, the winner will be the final NXT champion of the season, and indeed going to season two with the title. Um, rumors going round, Joe, that there is going to be a new NXT title next season. 
Do you mean like a new belt or? Yeah, new a new belt. Ooh. Very interesting to see how what that is. But let's continue on with SmackDown here. Uh, Adrian Phoenix, oh. very impressive so far as SmackDown continues. <laughs> Can't laugh. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday night SmackDown with Joe Disney and myself, Dave Easton. Uh, we are very happy to say we are sponsored by Pop Talks. Yeah, but I get a free box every month. I don't. You, you what? What? How did you? What? Eh? How the hell did you? Get, on, I set it up so I get the free box. Oh my! I don't get anything. Well, do you want one now? Uh, no, it's all right. So you get shit then? Oh, you, you've just swore. Well, you know what? You're gonna get fired. It's the last, it's the last few weeks of SmackDown. I think we should go all out. We're not. This is not the Attitude Era. We're not allowed to swear on air. Remember? Remember that? Did you no. not get the memo? I found the loophole, so it doesn't matter. Oh, dear. Do you want to see more contract? No, no, no. I'm all right. It can't be as bad as mine. Um, Edgar, How much do you get paid? I'm not telling you that. I'm pretty sure I get paid less. Probably do. Uh, Edgar, though, looking to put away Adrian Phoenix here. Kevin Nash looking on, just walking backwards and forwards, not really getting into this. As uh, Ed got twerk in the neck there. The, the icon could break out of this yeah, at like any a, moment, though. Yeah, it looks like a lot of trouble. This could be the end of the match. And there it is. Yep, yeah, it is. Is that. Yep, yeah, there it is. The referee's called for the bell. Ed goes one of the match. Well, it's very funny. Yeah, I didn't know if it, it's very strange. I don't know what happened there with the mix up. But a big win for Edgar of the NWO. He defeated the Icon uh, by submission. Yeah, you don't really see that much from Edgar, though. Well, I'm sure Edgar will be... Well, at least he'll keep Kevin Nash happy with that win. And the NWO continue on here, ladies and gentlemen. They may be the most powerful squad we have. Well, the, the last few weeks have shown. Maybe that you could just say that is correct. Well, there's somebody up on that stage. Who's that? Oh, it's Wade Barrett. Oh, there you go. Just as we see, we didn't think we'd see him. He's saying that he wants to have um, a, one more match against Kevin Nash one-on-one. -on -one. Um, well, let's see what he wants. Let's see what he says here. And he's saying it's winner takes all. He says if he win, if, if Kevin Nash wins, he will uh, never show his face in NSW again. But if he wins... Then the three of them from the NW have got to leave. What do you think about that, Joe? Does he mean leave the brand or leave SmackDown? I think it was leave NSW for good. Wow. I cannot picture that. Well, indeed. That, that was very interesting. We'll see next week what Kevin Nash says to that. Coming up next, though, it is the Tag Team Championship match. Mundo and AJ Styles taking on the Ascension. I feel like they defend the Tag Team Champions every couple of weeks. Well, we haven't seen much from a no, seen that after last week's performance. You would think that uh, AJ Styles isn't going to be the best. Uh, they've they've actually held the title since the 11th of August. There you go. That was their what happened. So, what do you think about Mundo? Keep bringing this up. Why does he bring this apple to the ring? He, I guess this is I don't know a sign or something. Uh oh. I'm a bit scared of these two, by the way. Scared? Well, have you seen these two? Mundo doesn't nope. look scared. The lights are off. You what, sorry? I said I couldn't see them, the lights were off. Uh, it, the Ascension, who really made a name for themselves since coming here in NSW. And after Rick Victor beat AJ Styles last week, they are now given this championship match. Very, very, very... Uh, scary individuals. I think it will be more scary if Ray Victor had different colored tights. I don't ask. I wouldn't want to ask him anything to be honest. 
Well, maybe I can get him while he's facing the moon though, and he just falls in the rain. Maybe you could just ask him just to not come anywhere near us. How does that he's sound? Scared? Of course I'm not scared. He's not scared. I'm not scared. But this is for the tag well, team I've, titles. I think I found out why um, the moon brings the apple. Why? He said, well, while I was talking a little while ago, he said you're the apple of his eye. Oh my god, your jokes are terrible. Would you stop? Well, I hope I make some F at least. This is going to be a very interesting. Tag team titles on the line. The world tag team titles on the line. Mundo Aegis stars have to put the belts on the line against the team of Rick Victor and Connor O'Brien. And as we say, we know what the Ascension have done over the last few weeks. This is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Give us a prediction, Joe. Who's going to walk out here, the tag team title holders? Do you even have to ask? So who do you the think Mundo is? obviously will carry the team for victory. Well, there you go. Guys, NSW app. If you think the Mundo and AJ Styles are going to retain the titles, give us a one. If you think the Ascension are going to walk out the new tag team title holders, give us a two. And we will tell you what people think uh, before the end of the match. Who do you think is going to win? Me. I'm, I'm told you I don't like picking people. Because when I do, they lose. Just pick the fans. No, no. Huh? I'm not, no, I'm not picking. Well, I'm, pick who you think is going to do good in this match or do well. The ref. <laughs> the ref. Look at this. It just does. It looks like he wants to get in this ring. He wants to show that he that loss last week against Rick Victor was was just a fluke. And really, Mundo may be trying to show it just as how things are done. Mundo's definitely making a theme right now. And I don't know what this what Mundo was going on about. Uh, all about this it factor of NSW. I know we haven't been able to get any words with him thanks to the uh, airport incident. But, uh... What do you think about that, Joe? What do you think about Mundo calling himself the it factor of NSW? Well, once he won the championship, he has... Well, we have been getting more viewers. So maybe that's it. No, you could, don't get his ego any bigger, for my goodness sake. As uh, Rick Victor went for a bit of an eye week then, got hit with a, a nice uh, toss over the shoulder there. As Mundo they do did, have always hitting on the Mundo. I don't hit on the Mundo, I just think he's an arrogant thing an arrogant thing really yeah i just think he is i just think just i just think he needs to calm it down a little bit as aj styles is in it but here comes the big connor o'brien and look at this aj styles doing the right thing going straight after him nice spinning neck breaker here come on guys remember if you're in the nsw app we want to know what you think mundo aj styles give us a one if you think the ascension give us a two and let us know who you think is going to walk out the, here with the tag team titles and Joe wh where we're at it but I know I'm going to be cut off shortly but I need to quickly say this the fans can actually vote on um, some awards for the end of season um, Hall, Hall of Fame induction ceremony that comes November the 2nd more on that when we come back with the conclusion of this tag team title match Ladies and gentlemen, non-stop wrestling, WrestleMania is the end of season one. Join us for WrestleMania, November the 3rd, 2013. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday Night Smackdown. It is the Mon uh, Mundo in the Ring um, as part of the tag team match. And my name is Dave Easton and I'm alongside... Joe Disney. The Disney Alliance. Leader. There you go leader and his guy is going to go for the NXT well try and get the NXT final match on Sunday now the tag team titles have been defended by the longest reigning um, champions here in NSW I think we, I think we should finish up on the awards that are coming up the, what, the awards yes award ceremony 2nd of November the fans will be able to vote on one award we don't know what it is yet more details will be coming out next week make sure you stay tuned to programming and YouTube where you will find out how you can vote for that while we continue on here Mundo going for the pin trying to retain them titles Conor Bryan and tags Vic out Vic here comes Rick Victor or no he, no, he doesn't oh, wait look, look, this but yeah look at that trap there set to, for Mundo who has fell right into it 
and Victor here now in control. Shot to the knee. Don't you think it's a little bit chilly here? No, why? It's out freezing. Oh, I told you. You should you should keep, you just keep that mouse suit on. Um, look at this. There, I am. Oh, look at this. Mundo hits it. It's he, over. He likes to call that the M5. Don't ask. Um, into the cover. Hook of the leg. The on Victor. Three, three. And there you have it. Mundo carrying the team as always. And, well, the longest reigning champions continue on. Mundo and AJ Styles. And they defend the titles. And it is the Ascension's first loss. And who... Who better than Salusa than the tag team champions? Well, there you go. That maybe will stop the Ascension attacking teams after the match. But who indeed is going to stop these two on their quest for the tag team? Well, to become the greatest ever tag team, you have to say they are the greatest tag team ta champions we've had in the NSW. Until my Joe Disney Alliance challenges them. <laughs> That'll be very interesting to see. Anyway, big win. Mundo and AJ Styles continue on as the world tag team champions. And that is it for Non-Stop Wrestling Smackdown Part 1 for this week. Um, Joe, thank you, say goodbye to the fans. Ta -ta. And that is yes. the end of Part 1. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, tell us what you think. If you're on Twitch, you better give us a cheeky follow. And stay with us. Part 2 is coming right up. If you're on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, you will want to watch the next video.